Should we, uh, should we crack on? Let's talk about kit. All right, right so uh, Paul from Trekkit here with Louis and Ant from uh, Expedition 5, uh, better known as hashtag the Mad Explorers. Yeah. Did I get that right? Is it yeah. the Mad Explorers? Yeah, wherever you like. Mad Explorers, the Mad Explorers. Explorers. Okay, so that, that's your hashtag, isn't it? So that's, that's where people can link in to your charities. So these guys are doing uh, a phenomenal thing. They are attempting to cross the world's five largest islands, on foot, completely unsupported. So they're using human power, so yeah. Human power. So the hashtag is pretty uh, pretty apt, isn't it? Mm. Mad explorers. Yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys have been doing some really, really good blogging. So we all know about the, the trials and the tribulations, the, the, the physical exertion, the people you meet, all that kind of stuff that's been going on. The, the, the blogging you do has been fantastic. But here at Trek It, we are, we're gear freaks. We're absolute kit junkies. And we just really want to know what, what your kit is, what you've been using, what's been good, what's been bad. And just really get down to have a look what's inside your packs. So I really want to start with the packs because last time we were up at Rab, when yeah. we were, uh, when Rab and Low Alpine kindly got involved with the whole thing and they agreed to supply you with clothing and, and, and equipment. I think for you guys, the, 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 the big thing for you was ditching your big burdens, wasn't it? Yeah, so our backgrounds both in the Royal Marines obviously yeah. before, so we're used to military style kit that's very simple and really the only thing you can rely on it doing more or less is not breaking, mm. um, it's not necessarily very comfortable or even that good at its job but it doesn't break yeah. and that's I guess the most important thing to us so we opted to go for some, some Berghaus sort of traditional olive green military grade Bergens for the Borneo expedition because yeah. that was like our next, yeah. that was our go-to thing. Yeah. It's big, heavy and green, mm. we'll get it. Yeah, so work. that's what we did. Um, Mine broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My shoulder strap broke, I had really? it tied yeah. and knotted on the whole, yeah, yeah, for about, I don't know, 700 kilometres I was yomping with it like that, right. so it was emotional. Yeah, yeah. so Ant, yeah, broke and he had that cuff. And what was my well, sh the, the metal plate sheared off? Oh the yeah, the, so the back plate yeah. in mine just shattered basically. So with three, three, yeah. three, three prongs, uh -huh. and they all came off. So my bag just turned into like this sack, a bush. <laughs> yeah. um, sack and, and morale. Like yeah, sack <laughs> and morale. Like Ad said, we still had like 700k or so to go. Right. So we couldn't get rid of them and swap them, we were there, we well, were in the middle yeah. of Borneo, what are you yeah. going to do? So, what, sort of, what sort of weight were you, were you carrying? <coughs> well the, the Bergens themselves were like three and a half kilos, which was just empty, just empty, empty, just empty right. three and a half, yeah. which is huge, so we wanted to opt to something between one or two kilos. When we kind of went from central Kalimantan into west Kalimantan, there's nothing between the two, none of the locals go between the two, right. and there's it's if, impossible. If effectively, a border wall in <laughs> okay. the form of a massive mountain range covered in jungle. So we knew we had to have at least 10 days worth of food. So at that point, we were carrying maybe 40 kilos, and that was over a mountain range in the jungle. Well, that's because when I go, when I go lightweight backpacking, I try to keep my pack weight under 10 kilos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's what you need. That's what you need to yeah, do. That, but I'm, I'm, I was enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. I'm still having flashbacks. It's <laughs> miserable. Yeah. yeah, literally. <laughs> so we basically came to you and said, "What, what, what should we do?" Yeah. yeah. Um, because all we would have probably done is just bought a lighter, less green. Yeah. Burger. Different burger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and. This so, was the so, answer. So how did they perform? The best Bergen I've ever, ever had. Yeah. Brilliant, really. Yeah, um, so the, the main thing for us when we first saw them was uh, the, the adjustability of it is something that I've never worked with and it's, it was like a big kind of... Twisting your melon. Yeah, right? it's something I've always thought, yeah, that would make it flimsy, the yeah. fact that it's... Just the look of it, isn't um, it? Yeah. Adjustable shoulder strap and back, back plate setup, but... Um, 
yeah, it was an absolute game changer for us, this backpack. So I thought straight away that's going to break. The rest of the Bergen looked great and comfy and happy days, but I just thought that is definitely going to break. Um, and I sort of flagged, raised my query, and we had the main designer. Reassurance. Yeah, we had the main designer. They there. say they had 250 key kilos hanging off that. Yeah, and, and it right. wouldn't break. Yeah. So, so that's what we did. We took it, and uh, it didn't break. It didn't break. Yeah. You, you slid basically free fall down, probably about. 20 foot yeah. with this on his back and just landed like a tombstone. <laughs> right. yeah. And it didn't break. Right. No. Yeah. So, I mean, that's probably as hard <laughs> as it's going to get doing yeah. what we are doing. Yeah. And these were on your back day in, day out, weren't they? 10 hours a day, yeah. Yeah. more or less. Yeah. 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 Sitting on them uh -huh. when we weren't yomping, we'd be sat on them through rivers, mud, the lot. Um, and there's nothing broke on mine. Strap, yeah. zip. The simplicity of it as well, you know, aside from this, this bit aside, the simplicity of it, the fact that it's, there's no like pockets everywhere, yeah. it's literally just a know, big bag. Yeah, it's perfect for me yeah, and Louis, it's, it's completely perfect. idiot proof. So, yeah. you know, all we need to do is put our stuff in our dry bags and shove it in there, and there's no like messing about with, you know, compartments and things like that. It's just, yeah. it yeah. is, you know, what it is. It's bloody well designed and bloody well thought through. Um, on the, the thing I also like about it is that whole system in the top with the strap here. Yeah. Obviously, another marine thing is we top flap everything. Right. So when the Bergen's full, yeah. we use this to just get more in. Yeah. And you can you can yeah, with these you can just that, you? yeah you can loosen this off. Yeah. Stuff your stuff in the top, crank that down, and you can just Lock crank it. even more stuff in there. Yeah. And it just it doesn't make it awkwardly sat on your back. Right. It's just such a well designed bag and so solid um and carrying comfort did you did you i know i know that we have a lot of, lot of experience with guys who are just used to shoulder carrying yeah yeah so everything's taken on the shoulders but obviously these packs are designed to carry the majority of the hips yeah was that something that you guys got used to was it, it, that you found that the packs was was an improvement yeah i i got on with it really well obviously like after three or four hours of young pin Everything is utter misery, yeah, yeah. but <laughs> yeah. it was less so. And you know, we 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 it, it was told through how much ground we were covering. Yeah. We were covering more ground, and we were less tired at the right. end of the day, and, and things like that. Yeah. Um, like no chafing on the hips or no. shoulders. And like the Bergens were just ridiculous in Borneo. What we were using, we looked like a pair of tortoises. <laughs> like the locals were just like, what are these idiots doing? Yeah. 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 I, to be honest, for a, for an expedition sized Bergen, I wouldn't use another one right. now. And, and you're gonna you're gonna take these to uh, Madagascar next, isn't it? Yeah. You're gonna take this to Madagascar. Depending on how we we cover the ground we yeah. cover the ground okay um if we're yomping yeah we'll be taking these right if we're yomping on anything we'll yeah. be taking these